that I recently got. Um, I've had them for one season and they've actually performed very well. So the reason why I'm doing this is because um, these waders are actually very cheap and I was actually very surprised with how well they performed. I was me and Alan got them this year so we both had them for I think we got them at least about a third through the season so we, had, we didn't use them the entire season but we hunted a lot with them over the last couple months so obviously they're tied by waders um, you can get more expensive stuff but these are relatively cheap um, as far as waders come I think they were both under a hundred dollars which that's extremely cheap they were a little bit on sale too though so but as you can see 600 gram uh, boot insulation um, I really liked something I really liked was the duty um, rubber on the bottom held up really well um, when we were hunting in the salt marsh with the oysters. Um, didn't really, I mean, it's a little, I mean, it's definitely worn, but um, not too scuffed up. I mean, definitely no uh, holes in the bottom, which is nice, even though we definitely walked all over oysters and whatnot. <laughs> there are a lot of sharp things back there. Um, same with these, probably like that. But then coming up, obviously this is neoprene, so. Was, uh, I would say it was decently warm, um, and then you kind of got your traditional pocket right here. And I usually put my hands in here if it's cold. You put a hand warmer or whatnot. It's got this pocket that I sometimes put my phone in here too. It's a kind of a good spot for anything. And there's a little, there's a little hole right here. I think they, yeah, they made it like that just to let air in and out. Then you got six shell uh, little pouches right here to put uh, shotgun shells. That's a nice feature as well. Um, and then you got this inside pouch with a zipper. So it kind of flops out, you can put things in it, and then it folds back in right next to your chest. So um, if the water's really, or the tide is really high, I'll um, put my phone in here so that it doesn't get wet. Um, Otherwise, I'll just tap it in here. But anything you really don't want to get wet, put in here because um, it'll be protected from the water. Because it obviously there's a hole right here, so if the water comes up past that, it's gonna get wet. So um, it also came with a belt. Uh, I think that's in my bag. I'll have to find that. But it came with a belt um, to go around. It's just got a buckle and nothing too fancy. But it also came with two, um, I think, two more sliders that go on the belt with, they can hold six shells. But, I mean, overall, I was very impressed with how well these things performed. I mean, they did um, no leaks. I mean, the one thing I will say is that toward, after I used them a decent amount, and if the tide was really high, Alan had the same problem as well. Um, sometimes I could feel a little bit of dampness coming through on the inside of my legs. If um, if the tide was really high, there was a lot of water pressure for it. I could feel it uh, forcing the water in a little bit. Nothing. It's not really like a leak though. I think um, that's pretty normal with waders. They're not going to keep you like just completely dry, especially these because they're really cheap. But I think they served the purpose. Like um, I really couldn't ask for uh, anything more from uh, gear. Um, they they did the job, and they're very cheap. So I totally recommend them if you uh, if you're going duck hunting. Oh no!